the RBI governor. Well, uh, just a short while ago, the, the midterm credit policy was uploaded onto the RBI website and what we have is just a tinkering of the CRR. Definitely no changes as far as the reserve ratio is concerned. So what that basically means is only 17,000 crores would be infused into the markets which would benefit perhaps the big businesses if the banks decide to go soft. However, your home loan rates will remain the same because the numbers clearly don't favor any reduction in the interest rates as of now. Viren Singh Rawat and Mayur are tracking the story from Mumbai and from Delhi respectively. Let's first cut across to Mayur. Mayur just makes sense of what just happened. It was supposed to be there. We were expecting perhaps at the maximum a minor tinkering with the interest rates. But Subarao continuing with his very cautious approach. And we can't really fault him because the numbers definitely don't favor a reduction as far as interest rates is concerned. Uh, absolutely, uh, Akash. The biggest uh, challenge is that considering the inflation numbers which are still uh, on, uh, above 7.5%, uh, the uh, inflation scenario was not very conducive for any massive rate cut per se. So that, um, because of, essentially because of that, uh, the government's key lending rates have remained unchanged, which means that uh, the credit policy does not impact Aam Admi people like you and me in any way. The loans, the EMIs that we pay will continue to pay. What has changed is the uh, CRR rate. Uh, which means that there will be more liquidity infusion into the bank. The sense that we are getting is that with a 25 basis points cut in the uh, cash reserve ratio of the central bank, there will be an infusion of about 17,000 crore rupees into the Indian banking system. Liquidity is one big uh, one big concern that uh, the industry has been quoting. So to some extent, this grievance of the industry, of the economy, of the uh, sector, especially in power and infrastructure and real estate sectors, uh, so this, uh, the, this grievance of these sectors have been addressed to some extent, no significant addressal of that also, uh, but definitely as far as the sentiment is concerned, the message is that the RBI is willing to relent as far as um, key rates are concerned and okay. the sense that we are also getting from the finance ministry is that going forward in the next quarterly review or so, hmm. there will be some significant tinkering of lending rates as well. Okay, so there could be some tinkering next time around, but at this point of time, the RBI is saying that decision as far as uh, the gas uh, uh, capping of LPG and of course diesel price hike should have been done in April, that could have seen some sort of reduction as of now. Virendra, just take us through exactly the market's not very happy, sitting only at 93 points up the Sensex at 18,557, definitely not a Monday that we were expecting because there is of course tempering over the euphoria as far as retail FDI is concerned everybody wants to see policy action and not just announcement and now comes this decision from the RBI definitely not reason enough to cheer for now that's true in fact the market opened with a bang we are at 200 point up uh, even uh, the, the market analysts said that we are not expecting much from RBI and uh, definitely they said that the FDI investment had to be seen there despite the, all the policy decision had been announced. But yes, RBI uh, rate cut in CRR has come as a dampener for the stock market and with the market which was trading at around in the, in the, in the range of 200 and 215 point which has come down in the range of 69, 80, 90. So as I think the, the market is totally unhappy with the RBI move. RBI have their own... Uh, uh, limitation by, by saying that the, they are, the, the inflation is still today not at a, at a very comfortable level. Even in the policy, RBI has said that uh, the LPG, the fuel hike and the other issue uh, might uh, might uh, increase the inflation by more uh, around 1% in the short term. So definitely RBI have, uh, have an, a rough idea that inflation is still not done and that's the reason uh, as, as expected RBI would not uh, reduce the interest rate. That that what's happened, and but but surprisingly, the, it has reduced the CRR, which might benefit the corporate India. The, the seventeen thousand okay. crore uh, amount would be I I infused in the system, so that's a good news from the corporate India and mm. from the, from the liquidity perspective. But from the common man perspective, RBI bad news. In fact, there's no news even for the stock market. 